So I'm back in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, because I want to show you some of the best things to do here. You can see this old house here. I can't wait. We're going to show you some of the top things to do when you're in Harrisburg or visiting for the day. There is so much to see. And do you see this huge tree? Make sure you're clicking that like and subscribe button. This thing is huge. And let's get right into it. <music> What an amazing building in Harrisburg. You can take tours here. I'm telling you, it's a must. It's got to be number one on your list because of the history of this place. Don't miss the state capitol in Harrisburg. Just look at the beauty in this town. Look at these trees in bloom here at the state cap. Three sixty. Let's see one hallway down there. It's closed on weekends, but you can come here Monday through Friday and take tours of this place. I may be back for that. All right, this is another fun activity. Fort Hunter Centennial Barn and Mansion. Let's take a look. You can see the hours here, May through December, Tuesday to Saturday, and they're even open on Sundays. I love this place. And there's a little history. Stockaded blockhouse built in 1755 on site right here. And there you can see the mansion. And directly across the street is the barn. I tell you, I had to show you these steps going up to the mansion. I've never seen anything like this. Look at this tree root that is above ground. Can you imagine if this tree could talk? Look at this. And this sits right next to the Susquehanna River. Does anybody see any ghosts? It looks like this place could be haunted. I'd love to come here at nighttime. Oh, and there's placards all over here to show you some of the history. Here's one of the barn. And you see what I mean? This, this is the mansion part. It looks amazing. But if you do a 180 right over here, you can see the Susquehanna River. Man, this guy must have been rich. You can see how long this Susquehanna River is. It's, again, another sight to see in Harrisburg. It's 444 miles. I tell you one thing, this is a must stop when visiting Harrisburg. In the area of Harrisburg, the grounds are beautiful. It's a little early. I, I'm sure in the springtime, this place is even more spectacular. Imagine bringing this for dinner. All right, do you see that bridge here? You could see a train just finishing up going across here. But look, this bridge, is the longest arch railroad bridge in the world was built in 1900 to 1902. Another fun fact in Harrisburg, another site. This is again right up from the mansion. There's a caboose sitting right along the river. It's called Rocky Junction, and I believe you either can rent it or somebody owns it. But what a view they have. Oh, my God. 
up there all those cars. That's Fort Hunter Park. But look at the church over here that's along the river. I tell you, you could literally spend all day here. There's so much to see at this park. I tell you, I am pleasantly surprised. I was not expecting all of this. All right, do you see the mansion across the street there? This is the barn. It is as old as the mansion, I believe. It's called the Centennial Barn. All right, I am being drawn to this house for some reason, and it's not because of the house. It's called the Tavern House, and it was built in the 1700s. It's because of what's behind it. Do you guys see that huge white oak behind this place? All right, you're not going to be able to see here this tree, but it, it is the largest tree. I'm going to have to take a picture of it. You'll see it right here, but oh my gosh, that thing is massive. <laughs> Look at this place. You can see the original there. That stone, I believe, is the original part of this house. And here's the stable. Now, this bridge wasn't here originally. It was across the river. But this owner of the mansion paid $70 to move it here as part of this mansion. But I'm glad she salvaged and saved it. Oh, and I love this sign. If you would have your wish come true, the covered bridge, you must go through. That says a lot, right? I need some good luck. There it is, St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's amazing. I can't wait to show you this. Apparently, it's amazing inside. We're going to check this out and put this on your list. And it's located right on Historic State Street. Just look at the inside of this foyer area. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this place. This is in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Look at the detail inside of this place. It's incredible. just have never seen anything like this. Look at all the fine details up there. Simply amazing. You got to put this on your list if you're in Harrisburg and you love history and old churches. Unbelievable. And this says it all. I am the resurrection and the life. I tell you one thing, it is simply a magnificent and stunning church right across from the Capitol. When you're in Harrisburg, just come by and look at this place. You will not be disappointed. So you can see right there's the state Capitol and right over here is the St. Patrick's cathedral we were just inside i tell you it's amazing and a must see in harrisburg for sure this is grace methodist church which is right next to the saint patrick's cathedral it's just beautiful too And when you're in Harrisburg, you got to come to the National Civil War Museum. It's got everything Civil War related. And look at this walkway dedicated to all the different states. But one of the most spectacular thing is, 
is look at the view when you're up on top of here. Overlooking Harrisburg. The National Civil War Museum is the largest one single Civil War museum in the world. It's the largest. Now, I can't take any video in here, so I can't show you anything inside, but just know if you're a Civil War buff, you gotta come here because I think I have thousands of artifacts in here and it just will make your day if you're into history. Only in Harrisburg. And let me tell you, this building is huge. All right, this is a must when you're in Harrisburg, the Broad Street Market. Look at this building. Is it incredible or what? It's the oldest one in the United States. Longest running market. Let's go inside and check this place out. This is just one of the buildings. Here's a burger place. But look, this is one of the oldest markets in Harrisburg and Pennsylvania. This place has been around since the Civil War. It's the most long running market in Pennsylvania. Right there is the Outpost Bar, right in the market. Cooking it right up in this little restaurant, made to order. Get here, that looks like French toast, fried rice balls, that looks awesome. Look at all of these food vendors. I'm getting hungry. This market has been open since 1863. But I tell you, this building keeps going on and on. There's all kinds of stuff to see and do. Uh-oh. I see the bakery right here. Oh, man, I'm gonna be in trouble. Look at all these baked goods. Amazing or what? Oh, and this must be where the meat is to take home. Look at all this. Another bakery. Oh man, these donuts look good, don't they? Oh, and there's no shortage of fruit and vegetables at any market for sure. This is called Two Brothers Barbecue. <laughs> it looks incredible. Look at these barbecue chickens. Do they look incredible or what? And Chess, they got beef, pork, whatever you want right here. Look at all that chicken and barbecue cooking. And we got a lot to do today. We better get on to the next stop, but don't miss the Broad Street Market for sure. Welcome to the Pennsylvania Farm Show, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. All right, this is definitely on the list. You've got to get a milkshake at the Farm Show. They are incredible. People will be lined up here forever, old John Deere's. If you love farming equipment, you will love this farm show for sure. And besides the farm show, the Pennsylvania Farm Show Complex has one of the largest sports and outdoor shows in the world. And also, they have camping shows, all kinds of events. Make sure you're checking out their website. All right, I've never seen mushrooms like this. It looks like somebody painted them. Some of the winners right there. I guess the water's cold for these little ducklings. And there they show you how they've made this over several, several days. The Walnut Street Bridge, the oldest surviving bridge over the Susquehanna. All right, we just got to City Island and this is a highlight in my opinion, is this bridge. It goes from one end of the from City Island right into downtown Harrisburg. It's great for bike riding, walking. I love this bridge. Here's a map of City Island. Open six to 10. Oh, and if you didn't bring your bike, they rent them here at City Island. 
and you can go across this Walnut Street Bridge. All right, and if you're a baseball fan, you gotta come see the Harrisburg Senators play. This is FNB Field, home of the Harrisburg Senators. They ain't playing today, but we, maybe if we can get up here and see the field and show it to you. It's on City Island in Harrisburg. This is Riverside Village Park. You, they got some shopping down here. When the Senators are playing, they got all kinds of food places. Here's the John Harris Trading Post in City Island. Here's another shot of downtown Harrisburg and that walking bridge to get over there. All right, this is cool. City Island has its own beach club. It's not quite ready for summer to get in this water, but you can. They got great sitting areas and great views. And they'll have some food carts out here too to satisfy your hunger. And if you want to exercise, there is a lot of equipment, not to mention all the walking trails. They even got volleyball set up here. Now, one thing that makes City Island unique is it's got a railroad track that goes the whole way around. Thanks for visiting City Island. Look at that, water golf. I didn't see that. All right, and this is a must. The Capital Area Green Belt. It's a 20 mile bike loop through residential areas along the Susquehanna River. And it's just beautiful. It's a 20 miles long. So if you can't do that long, like I can't, do half and come back another day. All right, I don't wanna make this video too long. We showed you, I gave you a lot of information in here, but we didn't even get into some of the museums. Like they have a Whitaker Center, they have a firehouse museum. You've got to see those as well. We might have to come back here for part two, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, have a great day. Hey.